All right, um, since I'm working on my camper this morning, I decided to just shoot some videos of my, the four of my hacks um, that have made this uh, wonderful camper more livable, more usable. Um, it just fits my needs. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. First one is the installation of a USB port. Uh, this is a 2016 model. It doesn't, it didn't come with any USB ports. It just had the two, um, you know, 115 volt uh, output things. And when I was camping, um, I couldn't charge anything. If I was boondocking, I mean, when I was camping, I'd have to plug it in one of the plugs. If I was boondocking, it was impossible to charge something without bringing along um, a battery pack. This thing is off Amazon. It cost, um, I think, $14, $15. Um, you know, it has an on-off switch, you know, 12 volt cigarette lighter, two USB charging ports, and most importantly is that right there. It's the um, voltage meter and uh, for the first I think three or four trips I went on I had no idea what my battery voltage was and this has been a lifesaver um, I probably killed my battery um, that came with it which is brand new because uh, I drained it way too far when boot ducking a couple times last year but it's this was very easy to install um it comes as kind of a kit pre-wired and you literally drill three holes and that red line going down by the ac is that is a fuse positive so there's a little uh i think a 10 amp fuse in there um and those the positive and negative leads you know go down through here and around the camper and go straight to the battery um uh, you know, some people you do, do it slightly differently, but anyway, this has been a lifesaver. Best 15 bucks I've ever spent. Okay, hack number two. And uh, you have to pardon me. Uh, I went on a, I guess, a four or five hundred mile trip two weeks ago, and I just opened up the camper, and my water pump fell off of the little wall. And I've got to figure out if you can buy mounting brackets. Otherwise, I'm going to figure out some kind of strap system. Um, but hack number two is just getting one of these multi um, connection 12 volt connectors with a positive and negative leads. And anyway, it's just helped clean up my wire management system. Um, and uh, I've attached it, the, I guess as part of it, I also bought a uh, AGM gel battery, which has been great. It's a hundred amp, it's $200 at Walmart. And uh, I think it's a UB12-1000 or something like that, or 1012. Uh, anyway, it's been great. And then I'm gonna go on to hack number three, which is, this little line running here. Hack number three. And this only works for those of you who have an inside under the rear bed battery. And this was a, this battery, um, I bought the camper over a year ago. And I, it was just a pain in the butt to crawl up under here and disconnect the, the um, the terminal so the battery wouldn't drain or come in here and pull the fuse because where I store it I can't keep the roof up and I don't want to leave it outside because I'm on the coast and we just get nasty storms here um the um anyway so I needed a battery cutoff switch and I'm going to walk out to the outside of the camera uh, outside of the camper and show you what the other side of this looks like this was the that hole there, that was the vent hole for my old lead acid battery, which needs one. 
you got an AGM or you got a, um, you know, the lithium life pose, you don't need a vent anymore because there's nothing. This is a totally sealed system. So let's walk outside. We're outside the camper. This is the, what used to be the outside vent hole for the battery. And what I did was buy this, I think it was $13 on Amazon, a battery cutoff switch. And literally, you know, it's just off, on. And I'm, I'll post some photos with this video that show um, the actual assembly of this. Um, I had to get that and two uh, battery cables that connect to the back of here. And, you know, I, I use that same plate for the battery. I mean, for the vent, and there are four screws screwed right through. There's some nuts on the other side with washers. It works for me and has saved me a ton of putting this roof up and down so that I could disconnect the battery when I wasn't camping for a few weeks. Um, and uh, anyway, I'll post some shots, and I hope this helps someone. My fourth and final hack, which has made this camper livable, is um, replacing the outside shower valve and hose. The thing that comes with these A-liners and looks like just about every other camper made in the last 30 years is this crappy uh, shower hose and um, you know, spray attachment. Uh, mine leaked. The uh, camera's five years old. Probably has been leaking since it was brand new. The head leaked, no pressure, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I bought this, I think it's, uh, uh, I'll post a shot of the box. It's not a Dometic, but um, it, um, anyway, this is, it costs about $50, $55. It's, I think six feet long when it stretches out. It's great for boondocking. And it, you know, the the, bat, the downside is that it doesn't curl up inside of there. You have to have to put it in the in my storage compartment. But it connects right up. And I'll try to do this while shooting the video. It's not a big deal. Um, oops. But that goes on there. You twist the cap. It's attached and you're ready to go and it has um, I have a dog who's there's Rigby again you know um, literally just hang it there it has has great water pressure it does not leak anywhere uh, when I'm boondocking I can take my shower um, it is not a problem anyway well worth $50